Okay, so the next thing we've got to do, we want to do is we want to make the circular disc based graphic, which is there. So what we're going to do is we're going to load up Photoshop and we're going to make it in Photoshop and then we're going to put it into here. So what we're going to do Photoshop, load it up, go to File New, create a new document, make sure it's about two centimeters by two centimeters. Uh, and then click OK. So, what that's done is that's given us a uh, circular space here which we're going to work from. So, we want to pick the colour we want to use. So, the colour that we're going to use is going to be roughly the same colour that we used there. So, and we can see that that is um, 20500 because we're taking it from the colour palette. So, that's going to be in here, so let's set that to 205. Zero, zero. And we're going to use that colour for our circles. So, uh, after we, we've got our circles, we've got our colour, we've got to add the circles. So what we're going to do is, unlock the background layer by dragging the padlock to the trash can. When that's done, go to the Eclipse tool there. Make sure it's got our colour that we want to use. I'm going to draw a circle and I'm going to hold down the Shift key to keep the perspectives of our circle. And we want it to just about fill the frame that we're working from. So there's our first one in the middle. After we've done that, what we're going to do is right click, we're going to go duplicate layer. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to change this by double by going into um, FX and we're going to add a stroke. And we're going to change the stroke color to be black because the black color will match up with our document on InDesign because we want it to be black. It's going in there. So we're going to set it black and we are going to go. Okay. Then, once we've done that, we can see now that we've got two layers. What we're going to do is we're going to do Control and T to transform it. And make it a bit smaller. Make sure we click this paper clip. It's a bit too big. Hold down the shift key as we're doing that to keep the proportions the same. Move it into the middle. So the middle, press enter. So that's the next one done. Just have a look at that for a sec. See we've got a white line on there. I just need to see what's causing that. <laughs> Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to do it with the next one. So we're going to go right click, duplicate layer, enter, and we're going to do control and T, make that smaller, like that there. Make it still a bit more smaller, so we're getting for that. That looks about in the middle, enter. Another one. Right click, duplicate layer, click OK. Command and T to tree transform. There. Hold down the shift key to keep the proportions the same. Move it using the arrow keys until we get it in the right place that we want it. Do a bit too big. Hold down the shift key. Get it in the right place. But there's our third one. Finally, in the middle, what we want to do is we want to put a circle. Right. I'm going to stick a circle in the middle. Put down shift key like that. Draw it in like that. Change the color to be black. Again, it's a color selector. Whoops, I'm doing that a sec. Go okay, back. Just need one more to be added in here, so I duplicate this again, duplicate there. Another copy. Then the shift key. So we get it in the right size, get it in place. Like so. Finally, to add the finishing touches to this, what we're going to do is go add a circle in the middle. So what I do is I go new layer, click on the new layer button, come circle tool, make sure I've selected the colour to be black, out there, draw in the circle like so.
Put it in the middle. Just about there. And hey presto, there's our graphic. So what we now we need to do is we need to delete the white bits of our graphics. So we need to go over to layers tab here. Scroll down to the bottom. Come layers. Magic wand tool. Click once in the white. So it's selected and just press delete. That gives us a transparent background. Now what we do is we go file, save as, and file set name needs to be a PNG. I'm going to call it record. Okay, okay. Done. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to put this into my into here. So I'm going to use the place command again. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to uh, Layers, lock the text layer, unlock the graphic layer, select the graphics, and I'm going to go W to activate my thingy, and I need to fit it into that box there. So, I'm going to go File, Place, uh, 2 sets. Record.png I'm going to place it there. Now, we can see that it doesn't fit this frame. So what we need to do is to go fitting fit content proportionally. See that that fits it into our frame. Finally, what we need to do is we need to move it to the other side of the frame. So what I'm going to do actually is actually what would have been better to do, sorry my fault, is we're going to do that. But first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to use a graphics frame and we're going to draw another graphics frame in here, like that. So we know it's going in there. And then we're going to do the same as we did file, place, record.png, open, so it's in there. Right click on it, fitting, fit content proportionally. So it puts it there. Now we need, what we need to do is move it onto the other side of the frame so that it's up on this side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it on the frame and I'm going to go fitting and I'm going to go fit frame to content. So now it's that size. Now after that what we do I'm just going to move it across. So there. So that looks like right. Final thing I need to do is I need to put a white box in between here and here. So all I'm going to do to do that is get my little square here. I'm going to draw a small rectangle like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move that. I'm going to make the fill in there white. Go into colour. Uh, pick in a white fill. In here, like so, and see how I did that. I changed that to here to white over there, and picked a white color from here, I'm clicking off.